Hi guys, in this demo I will show you the results you can get, then I'll run through the software, show you how it performs, and a little bit of strategy to get you up and running. So let's look at some actual citations that the software has created. So to check citations in Google, you put the address and the phone number in quotes, and these are the results that you get. So as you can see, tons and tons of citations. It just keeps going on and on. But also what's really cool is if you look in images.google.com, you can see where they all come up. Oh, that's a weird one. Why's it got that photo? I don't know, but there you go. There's a Twitter moment and it looks spectacular. So go back to all. And not only do they create brilliant moments, they also really well in Google. Oops. Twitter moment there, Twitter moment there. Very nice, thank you very much. Now to get citations, on one of the most powerful domains on the planet being twitter.com. You use this software and these are Twitter accounts we've added. You add the login here, password, the phone number and the email, add that to the software and they appear up in the left hand column. And you can push over as many as you like relative to the software that you've purchased. For this demo, I'll only do two. So once you click next, that brings up this window where you have two options here. GMB citations and tweet content. GMB citations is 100% related to creating perfect GMB citations. This one here, you can tweet anything you like up to 280 characters with spin tax as well. I'll get into that in a sec. So you add the niche in here, the exact name of the GMB. You grab that from the GMB, the address, phone number, and the short URL. And here's a pro tip, each time you load the short URL, it provides a different one. So I like to add a different one each time I run a project. So I paste the short URL in there. Go to share, grab this one, paste it in there, and we've got a different short link each time. Click next, and that's it. Click start. Now I'll speed this up to save time, but you'll see how it all creates these beautiful citations on twitter.com. So there you go, the run's completed, and it's popped up this PDF with all the links. Now I can show you also what we use these links for. And in case you missed it at the very beginning, because we use the deep linking method, the very first tweet that it created, it grabbed the two links from memory from the last project and tweeted the links to the, the last Twitter moment created and the last tweet created, and added those to the first tweet created for amazing internal linking on one of the most powerful domains on the planet. Now let's get back to the software and I'll show you the second tab. So here we are back at the software. Now we go to the second tab and as you can see here, I've got a lot of Twitter links. But what's really important to understand is that you can put any links you like that you need powerful backlinks for. And trust me, these are very, very powerful backlinks as you will soon see yourself when you experiment with this software. So I'll get rid of that. Control A, delete. So in here you can put links to your any website, 
GMBs, Google Maps, YouTube links, Google Sites, Blogger, any sites you've got stacked up, put the links in here to give even more link juice to those stacks. Speaking of stacks, just for taking the free trial with this software, you get my power stacking strategy report that comes just for taking the free trial. And trust me, it's a doozy. So I'll get rid of that. For now, I'll copy these. Now, as you most likely know, there is a limit of 280 characters for each tweet that goes out. So we have this. Spin text checker, and now that's 222. And also, you can't post the same tweet twice from a single Twitter account, which is why we've introduced spin text into this software. So, if you're running the project over and over, you don't want the same tweet to go out because it will fail. So, with spin text, you can set up one project and run it over as many times as you like and without it having duplicate tweets. So, I've copied our links into a text file. I'll just put some spin text there, pipe. So there you go. Now what I'll do is I'll copy both of that. Control A, delete. There you go. So that's all those links twice and you can see the number change down here if it goes over 280 it goes red so each time it tweets it will give out a different variation of those links now of course you can use any links in here what I'm doing right now is sending even more link juice to the original tweets we created with this information so click next run the project again and now we're getting links back to all the citations we just created. And there's so much more strategy in the power stacking strategy report. These results, number one in the three pack for our GMB. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I'll see you in the next video.